Queensland police have made an arrest over the strawberry contamination scare. A 50-year-old woman is tonight in custody and is being questioned by police. In September, authorities launched a major investigation after several punnets were found with sewing needles. Reporter Rachel Rieger joins us now from police headquarters. Rachel, when is the woman expected to be charged? Jess, the 50-year-old woman was arrested this afternoon and was brought to the Brisbane Watch House where tonight she's expected to be charged with about seven offences. Now, the ABC understands this arrest is in relation to one of the original cases involving the company Berrylicious. Now, this was sparked by uh, needles being found in strawberry punnets in southeast Queensland in September. From there, more than 20 cases were found in New South Wales and several cases were found in Victoria, South Australia, Western Australia and Tasmania. Now this comes just a week after the state government said authorities were no closer to finding the culprits of the strawberry contamination scandal and that police investigations were being scaled back. Now. Um, uh, the industry was rocked incredibly hard by this scandal. We saw fruit pulled from shelves and producers were forced to dump fresh produce. The industry has welcomed this arrest tonight. We're really appreciative. The Queensland Police have been nothing but brilliant the whole way through this thing. You know, they had a task force of over 100 police um, involved. So it's, it's really great to see that their efforts have, have um, come through. And Rachel, what are the potential penalties? Yes, Jess, as a result of the strawberry contamination scandal, the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, introduced tougher maximum penalties for people found guilty of tampering with food. That is going to be increased from 10 to 15 years. An additional offence of recklessness, which relates to hoaxes and people who contaminate food without the intent of hurting people, that will attract a maximum penalty of 10 years. Those were introduced and passed in Parliament in September. Rachel Rieger, thank you.